Are you tired of using the $10 keyboard that came in with your PC? Are you trying to find a better budget option but it's just so confusing? I may have found the right keyboard for you. Let's talk about it. I was looking for a budget keyboard option for a while now and thankfully one of you guys suggested this to me. Today we're going to review the Logitech G213 keyboard which is a well balanced keyboard for gaming and works well for productivity. At 2200 pesos you get a full size keyboard with RGB and media controls. But is it worth your money? Let's find out. This one is pretty straightforward. It's literally the box and the keyboard. There's no padding and bubble wraps, just a plastic wrapper. I guess it's fine as long as the keyboard itself is not damaged, right? Which I think mine isn't, so that works for me. Now let's talk about the design and build quality. The overall design is nice. You have a nice big G logo on the upper right corner and the labels on the side. This keyboard has a matte finish to help with fingerprint smudges. This measures 45 centimeters for the width and 21 centimeters for the length, and a height of 2 centimeters. Flipping out the legs at the bottom will make the total height to 4 centimeters. The body of the keyboard itself is a bit bigger. It has a lip which acts as a wrist rest. I have never used a wrist rest before, but since I use this keyboard, I may have to get one for all of my other keyboards. Going back to a full size keyboard after using a 60% one for a couple of months made me realize how much I miss those extra keys. Maybe not the number pad, but a dedicated delete and this button is definitely welcome. Being a full size membrane keyboard, this has 104 keys, plus the number pad and the media controls. The typing experience on this one is not that different from the mechanical keyboards I have. Obviously, it's not as soft as the linear keys I have on my Ann Pro 2, but it's definitely better than those 300 peso ones. Having dedicated media keys is a total game changer. While I can definitely program function keys on my 60% keyboard, that's not comparable to having dedicated keys where you'll not have to memorize special key combinations. The media keys also have distinct physical features which help for operation without looking at them. Also, being able to use my favorite Excel shortcuts is always welcome. The RGB on this keyboard is not that bright compared to the other ones I've tested in the past. This is also limited to the keys itself. Some other keyboards would also illuminate the lines between the keys which also adds to the overall brightness. This keyboard works with the Logitech G-Hub and as you would expect, this comes with some level of customization. The RGB customizations comes with several presets which are good enough to start. You have 6 presets which are pretty standard in RGB keyboards. I tried several of them and ended up using the color wave and the fix mode. You also have the audio visualizer which is nice if you're listening to music but other than that, it doesn't really do anything. You also have the freestyle mode which allows you to customize certain zones of your keyboard. It's not as flexible as other keyboards I've tested in the past but it's there if you need it. This comes with a game mode which allows you to disable certain keys when you enable it. This is really helpful for those accidental presses of the Windows keys and some other non-game related keys. Then you have assignments customization. You can customize the 12 function keys to act as commands, certain keys, actions on certain applications, macros, and system functions. While it's good that you have a certain level of customization, I was a little bit disappointed that you can only customize the function keys. I was looking forward to assigning applications to the number pad keys. This was something I was always able to do with my Razer keyboards. Let's start with productivity. Since we all are probably using full-size keyboards at our workplace, this will serve that purpose well since you do not have to adjust. You can assign shortcut keys of an application you frequently use to the function keys to help speed up your workflow. For gaming, the game mode really helps minimize your error presses. Similar to productivity, you can assign keys or macros or even Discord shortcuts to your function keys to help you on your games. <laughs> 
Since this keyboard is not really heavily focused on either gaming or productivity, you can expect it just provides an overall better performance than your entry-level keyboards. And that's the end of the video. Click on this video right here if you want to know more. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.